Hi, I'm Ian Stark for New Blue, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Instant Replay for Captivate. New Blue Instant Replay gives you control over multiple, synchronized camera sources, which you can easily scrub through to pick your moment of exquisite action. And you can switch between cameras to give your viewers a glimpse of the action from every angle, while alerting them to the fact that we're no longer looking at the live action by using automated stingers. Instant Replay is fast, powerful, and very easy to use. Here's how. In this example, I've just got the project, program monitor, and switcher windows open, and it's in the switcher that we configure and operate Instant Replay. I'm going to start by creating my camera sources, and these can be NDI, SDI, any USB-connected video source, or even a live video feed via Zoom. For the benefit of this tutorial, I've already prepared a short clip in advance, which shows four synchronized camera angles. Camera 1 is primarily a wide angle, and in this example it will always be my live, real-time shot. Cameras 2, 3 and 4 are going to be the sources for my instant replay. Now let's choose a stinger to use when we enter or leave instant replay. From the graphics library, I'll pick one that I created earlier, Instant Replay Blue, and drop that into my project. Right, that's the basic project set up. Now let's configure instant replay. Instant Replay uses a circular buffer to capture live video data for anything between 15 and 90 seconds. The amount of memory your buffer will use is conveniently shown, and when the buffer fills, it will replace old video data with new. We've already chosen an automatic stinger transition, and I'm going to select that for when the replay starts and for when it finishes and I return to real-time video. I want to be able to replay from cameras 2, 3 and 4, so I'll arm them and click Enable Instant Replay to start the buffer recording. We now have a new set of controls available to us in the switcher panel. You can see the buffer filling up, and remember that once it's full, it replaces the old video with new ad infinitum. On the far right is the record button, which is showing me that it's currently on and recording the three cameras I've enabled. And there's now an icon in the top right corner of each shot, which shows me which shots are armed for instant replay. When something worthy of a replay happens, I can scrub directly in the bar to find the point where the exciting event starts. And when I drag the mouse left and right on the bar, notice that the other armed cameras scrub together in sync. When I release the mouse at the point I want the replay to start, notice that each shot now displays the live view in the top left corner. And I can click in those boxes to switch between the different live action shots. For the instant replay, I can choose the speed the replay is shown at, ranging from quarter speed to double speed. And to start playing the replay, all I need to do is to click on one of the camera angles in the switcher, which automatically plays the stinger and kicks off the slow motion replay. During playback, I can switch to the other camera angles, with the active clip being highlighted in green. The little cogwheel to the left of the scrub bar lets me change the in and out transitions, and I can also disable any live graphics from playing out during instant replay, such as a scoreboard, by checking the Mute Graphics option. You want a freeze frame? Just click the play button to pause, and then click between shots to see the frozen action from different angles, or scrub to find a new freeze frame point. You can resume playback by clicking the play button again. And there it is, simple but powerful instant replay right from inside Captivate. Instant Replay for Captivate is available right now, only from New Blue. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Thanks for watching.